Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. This is going to be a quick one on how to get the game Stardew Valley and also a game called uh, Secret of uh, Grindia. Uh, you'll be able to use uh, Reshade with both of those. So if you do have both of those, I'm going to teach you how you can uh, get Reshade working on those. So if you don't know what Reshade is, you can check on uh, one of the earlier videos that I did. It shows what the Reshade does as far as... Uh, you know, I mostly use it for adding scan lines and smoothing out the graphics on the older games. Uh, so if you're interested, go ahead and hit those links on the uh, description. We're going to go ahead and download Reshade. So we're going to go here. You're going to scroll a little bit down here. We're going to double click on this one and download Reshade 6.1.0. Put that in your downloads folder. Then we're going to head over to this other page here. And we're going to download the latest version of this, which is 0. 006. Now this usually comes entailed with another program, but the reason we're using it is for, you know, specifically for the purpose of getting reshade working on the two games that I mentioned. So we're going to go ahead and just download this file right there. Once we're done with that, you can go ahead and close it. Go to the folder where you have both of the files in there. And we're going to go ahead and <coughs> extract both of those. Uh, so you can go ahead and, uh, you, you know, do a folder for each. So once you have the reshade installed, that one's super easy because you're basically just going to double click on the, uh, you know, reshade file. So there's really no need to install that one. So go ahead and launch reshade. Once you do, you're going to get this window here. You're going to click on browse. You're going to maneuver to the uh, location where you have the game. So I'm going to do that now. We're going to go to here. And there's Stardew Valley. So we're going to point to the executable file, which is this one here. We're going to open. Click Next. And we're going to click on DirectX 9. We are going to hit Next. Then the two filters that I use are uh, ones in the Sweet FX one, ones in the Legacy FX. So double check. I'll click on those, like the square, so it opens up. Now this is kind of... Uh, a pain in the butt because you can choose to do all of them but the only ones we're really going to need are the CRT and the HQ4 so what I'm going to go ahead is just go ahead and check just that one there if there's a way to do this easier I haven't found it yet with the other versions you could you know uncheck and select a little bit easier so I don't, I don't know if it's me or just the program but uh, this is how it's done now. So go ahead and uh, click Sweet FX. Check that. Check CRT FX. Then we're going to go to the Legacy FX. And we're going to uncheck everything here except the HQ file, which is the second one that we're going to use. And, like, you know, you can go ahead and install all of them. But for the purpose of the video, the way I'm going to make it look, we're just going to need these two. So once that's done, we can go ahead and close this. Now, anyone that's used this in the past before, uh, you pretty much know how to use it. Once you've done that, you're just going to go ahead and hit next. And it's going to show you that the, uh, you know, the features have been applied. So normally we would just go in there and just launch the game. As you can see, the folder is in here. Shaders and textures are in there. So we would just launch the game. And then what would happen is once this launches, you will see the text up here showing you that the reshade is indeed active. As you can see, it is not. And that's the purpose of us having the other program. So we're going to go into the other folder or wherever you have that, you know, extracted. We're going to take those files from the folder. All you really need is just these two here. Copy those into this folder here where your game is at. Then super easy. Then go ahead and copy the name of the Stardew Valley. You want to make sure you copy it or spell it exactly as it is. Then we're going to go into the NB injector file. We're going to open that and we're just going to make sure that it says directory D9 up here. And on this one is actually already set for so you don't even need to do it. If you do own the other game, the secrets of uh, Grindia, then you're just going to put, you know, the title of the executable here. And then on the second one, you're just going to put the title by itself. So that's basically all you have to do. And then once you've done that, go ahead and start the program. You're going to hit hide the tree. And now when you launch the game, you should see the reshade is now active. 
and as you can see you see the text there so go ahead and hit here so it can maximize the game hit home to get the settings to come up hit continue continue again we're going to pick advanced crt hq4 for the most part this will be a little bit easier if you put hq4 on top then we're going to go down here to continue and this you can pretty much set to you know whatever you feel uh, comfortable with you can switch these numbers around So this number here, we more or less want to leave at the, uh, that's the HQ. So that one, normally you don't want to go any higher than a thousand five on that one. So let's set these first. So the resolution, this will give you the scan lines. So you can slide that to where you, you know, where you like, like the way it looks. Then we're going to head scroll down here to HQ once more. You can unselect or select these as you want. Normally, if you deselect them, it'll make the scan lines pop a little bit more. So that all depends on how you want it. As you can see, I took them off and you can see the scan lines a bit better. So that's up to your preference. Then we're going to go down here. And this is where you change the strength of the, uh, the filter. So that's default. So normally, I like to set it at a thousand or, you know, you don't want to go too high because then it's going to make it look really goofy like that. So normally anywhere from like 1,005 and under is normally pretty good. So let's leave that at 1,005. And then for the most part, most computers are gonna need the brightness turned up on the CRT filter. So let's make sure we have that turned up here. So about 1,005 up there also. You can change that according to you know however you like the brightness to be. And then once you've done that, just go ahead and click finish. You wanna make sure this performance mode tab is checked and there you go now if you want to set this up to show the frame rates all the time you see how when i hit the home key it shows the frame rate on the upper right hand side if you want to change that go into settings and we're going to go over here to filters show fps if you leave the box on there it's going to always show So you got two options. You have the check mark. The check mark is always going to show it, you know, regardless of whether you have the options window for reshade open or not. And if you click it here, it's going to only show it when the window's open. So as you can see, I got the uh, square on there. So now when I close the reshade, the filter is not going to show the FPS. So if you want to show the FPS all the time, go ahead and leave it check marked. When you close the options with the home key, it will still show the frame rates. So is that, that is it for this one. So like I said, this will allow you to use Reshade on Stardew Valley and also the secrets of uh, uh, Grindia. It, I'm pretty sure it's going to work with other you know titles that don't natively really let you use the uh, Reshade. So go ahead and have fun with that, guys. So if you had games that you wanted to run Reshade with and weren't able to, go ahead and give that a try and see if that helps you out. Just a quick note, guys, when you're done uh, playing the game that you have, you know, set up with the EMB injector, you want to go into the uh, system tray and then go ahead and close the EMB injector and you'll be all set. You'll want to close that once you're done with the game. So that's it for this video. Uh, go ahead and leave any questions or comments in the comment section. We'll see you guys on the next one. If you had not subscribed, please do so and we'll see you soon.